here let us look into another of the many congruence criterions which is called as right angle hypotenuse side congruence criterion which is rhs criterion now the theorem is two right angles are congruent if the hypotenuse and one side of one triangle are respectively equal to the hypotenuse and one side of the other triangle Now, given we have two right triangles, that is triangle ABC and DEF, in which angle B equals angle E, that is equal to 90 degrees, and AC equals DF and BC equals EF. So, now what do we have to prove with this data is triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF. So we need to do a small construction here. The construction is to produce DE so that EG equals AB. This is G. EG equals AB. And then we need to join GF. Now the proof goes like this. Now in triangles ABC and GEF, we have AB equals GE and angle B equals angle FEG equal to 90 degrees. So here it is AB equals GE because we've drawn it in such a way that EG equals AB. So AB equals EG and angle B equals angle FEG which is equal to 90 degrees. Because angles on a straight line, if this is 90, this is also going to be 90. So we have angle B equals angle FEG equals 90 degrees. And we have BC equals to EF, which is given. Now, so by side angle side criterion, we have proved that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle GEF. Now, as a result, we have angle A equals angle G which is again CPCT that is corresponding parts of congruent triangles are equal and also AC equals GF which follows the same reason. Now we have AC equals GF and and we also have AC equals DF which makes DF equals to GF. Therefore, GF equals to DF. And then we have angle D equals angle G. Now, why is this? Because angles opposite to equal sides are equal. That is, angle D and angle G are equal because DF and GF are equal. Therefore, angles opposite to equal sides are equal. So, now from this one, we get angle A equal to angle D. Because we had proved that angle A equals angle G and if angle G is equal to angle D then angle A equals to angle D. So now thus in triangles ABC and DEF we have angle A equals to angle D which we just did and then we have angle B equal to angle E which is given already and therefore let us add them up now we will get angle A plus angle B equals angle D plus angle E which is nothing but if you consider this triangle ABC we have angle A plus angle B plus angle C equal to 180 degrees. So then if angle A plus angle B plus angle C equals 180 degrees so therefore we have angle A plus angle B equal to 180 degrees minus angle C. Now same thing applies for the triangle DEF also. So now let me write angle A plus angle B as 180 degrees minus angle C and angle D plus angle E as 180 degrees minus angle F. Now here 180 degrees, 180 degrees gets cancelled. Same things on both sides and the negative negative also gets cancelled. So therefore we have angle C equals to angle F. 
So now in triangles ABC and DEF, we have BC equal to EF, angle C equal to angle F and AC equal to DF. Now BC equal to EF is already given, angle C equal to angle F we just proved it and then we have AC equals DF which we just proved a little while ago. So now therefore by the side angle side criterion we have triangle ABC as congruent to triangle DEF and hence we prove that the right angle hypotenuse side congruence criterion is very much valid to prove that the two triangles can be congruent.